Now, another thing I need to point out is that if you are, again, working on the same scenario of the bookstore application, and let's say we, we know we, that we have this particular person in our database, and I want to delete him, so I'll hit F5 here to get rid of that. You can ignore the warning, and now if you go back here and F5 that one, you'll see there's nobody in here. The thing I want to point out is that the way RFUtil handles messages and the way that the eSQL flow, or I should say the IIB flow exerciser hander handles messages are slightly different. What do I mean by that? Well, if you start the flow exerciser, and while that is running, you go to RFUtil, and you select the input queue here, and then you go to read the queue, then we go to the data tab, we can read the value in that queue, so that means we do have something in the queue. Uh, in fact, let's go look at that because if you if you go to the CCA input queue listed here, you'll say, hmm, where is that item? You don't see anything, and so you say, hmm, why is that? Well, it's because there really is nothing in that queue. It says right here, no messages are in the queue. But remember that the data tab in the RF util will actually remember the last thing that was available, what, that was pulled up. So that's a little strange. But anyway, there you go. Now, separately, this IIB flow is ready to run so I'm going to hit close here and now I'm going to put our the same new message new customer message on the queue that's this queue and I'm going to click on send so we should see sending message and we should see the response if you don't see the response something happened and by the way you would see something not happen if you put some message in here that it was not uh, expecting so an example of that and you can see I'd already done this before but uh, an example of that would be go up to send a message and let's make a new message and we'll say you know it's uh, well we could just pretty much delete this and just say hello there this will not run and it's because the uh, first of all I'm gonna hit send this is not going to work and you're going to see that we're going to have a that's fine and it said there wasn't no, nothing ever uh, re replied to the, the reason for this is because take a look at our DLQ our dead letter queue if I hit F5 to refresh the screen that went up to 5 that the reason for that is two, two things first of all the dead letter queue was defined in the CCA in so if you go to if you go to storage, you will see the back out requeue queue is DLQ, and the format that the message flow was expecting wasn't provided, and that is here uh, under input messaging. So this it was expecting a message domain of XML in a C, right? It, it was expecting an XML message, which you did not provide, and so it went in didn't uh, it, it, the message was essentially rejected. It was sent to the dead letter queue. The same thing would apply too if not all of these fields could be mapped in your message into the database. So just keep in keep that in mind. Now, separately in our RFH util, notice that when I send this test message, let's do that again. So let's go to our original uh, message here. Again, we're going to grab that message from our provided message from the book download and we're going to let that go through if we go back to data studio at this point we should have two of these records f5 there we go we do have two and if we want to why don't we clean this up so i'm just going to delete that and i'll resend another message just so we have a single person in there and hit send same thing should occur there we go and now we can do a select and there it is great now what I, the point I wanted to make here was that if you go to the, if you go looking in the CCA underscore out queue, you are going to see nothing, and the reason for that is because although we send a message along this along this flow, the it's the flow exerciser that's handling the sending of it of this here. In other words, the queues are running just fine. The IIB is running the way you would expect it, but nothing is going into the out queue. And you can confirm that because if you go to RFH util, you you pull up the the in queue and then you open a file and that file is exactly the same file here. And then I put this message on the queue. In fact, before I even do that, let's go back to our database. And again, I'm going to just delete everything in it. So, right, there's nothing in there. I'm going to put a new message on the queue and run it. So, I've, I remember I've already loaded this. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to write to the queue, to the in queue. 
let's put these side by side over here so I'm gonna write to that queue okay it says it sent that to the queue now I'm going to hit F5 we'll see that there is nothing in the queue depth for in but look at that the out queue now has a new message on it and of course you, of course you could go in here to the out queue and you could browse that queue the browsing started there we go it found a message go to the data and then no surprise we have Peter Smith sitting in there and if we go back to data studio and we hit F5 sure enough we have our person sitting in there and the point of that is that if you hit the flow exercise or send message don't expect to see something in the MQ out queue you're not going to find it there but if you use another application so RF util for example or some other application then that flow will still complete even though and I should say even while the flow exerciser is running.